Welcome to our corner and chamfer tutorial. First, I'll create a rectangle. Now I'm going to select the corner tool from the operation toolbar. From the sketch tool toolbar, the subtool trim all elements is selected. I'm going to select the first line and the second line. When I move the mouse up and down, I can see how the corner will be. I can see some feedback too to get the actual radius. It's about an inch or so. Click mouse button number one, double click on the radius and change it to one inch. Click OK. And we see the geometrical constraints have been created. This is because the geometrical constraints and the dimensional constraint buttons are active. Now, let's select the Trim First Element subcorner tool. And the element I'll select first becomes trimmed. As you see here. The next function is No Trim. Line 1, line 2. It's about a half inch radius here. And there's no trim. Next, let's select Standard Line Trim. Let's select this corner. Also about half an inch. We seem to have the same results here and here. Let's delete this sketch. I'm going to create two lines. Now let's see what the difference will be when I create a corner between these two lines. Let's select no trim. Then the first line and second lines. Let's create about a two inch radius. Now we see the line stayed intact. Click Undo. Now let's select Standard Trim. Select the line and a second line. Now Katia extends the lines to an intersection point. Let's click Undo. The next function is the Construction Line Trim. Let's select the first and second lines. You see that Katia again extended the trimmed lines. The extended line is now a construction line. Let's undo. The last tool is Construction Line No Trim. Select the first and second lines. We see that the lines have become construction lines, but without any extension to an intersection. Let's undo. Now, we're going to look at the chamfer tool. It has the same subtools as the corner tool. I won't go through all of them, but I will show the first one, trim all elements. Okay, select the first and second lines. Now, you see the place where I put the chamfer doesn't really intersect with the lines. Now you see that when I click, Katia extends these lines to the intersection point with our newly created chamfer. Let's drag it out to see it a little bit better. And this concludes our corner and chamfer tutorial.